Obama holed up in his house for days, now we know foul reason why with what was just found inside. With as much as arrogant Barack Obama loves the limelight, especially if he can use to steal attention from his successor, it's been strangely missing from the public eye for several days. Michelle Obama is living her best life loving the afterglow of all that her husband's two terms afforded her and is now nowhere to be found around him as she jet sets to her heart's content. However, the same can't seem to be said of Barack whose habits are coming to the surface of days of seemingly self-imposed solitary confinement. Without a facade to maintain as a perfect marriage and presidential pair, the Obamas' true selves have seeped out in the last nine months and it's a far cry from the couple they pretended to be in the people's house. The pretend poise and class has subsided and is now replaced with the reality of who these two really are that was painfully hidden behind a pretend appearance for eight years. It was only a matter of time before the truth revealed itself and it's surprisingly worse than we thought as old habits die hard and gone unchecked, they get much worse. There's been no question that both Barack and Michelle have always fancied themselves to be more hip than they really are, assimilating with rappers and their wives and surrounding themselves with an atypical crowd not befitting of a president, past or present. The saying often goes that you are who you surround yourself with, and for the Obamas, this is definitely accurate. He's picked up some of their bad habits, building on his own propensities, and now that he's on his own out of the White House, these behaviors seem to have gotten out of control, based on what the author of an explosive new book has just exposed about the Obamas in their life as civilians. Author Edward Klein's new expose on the Obamas, titled All Out War, The Plot to Destroy Trump, lays it all out there about what he's uncovered in the last several months of Barack being left up to his own devices. He has everything at his fingertips and people to help hide it, but now the bitter truth of who he really is has come out in Klein's book who spoke about it on the Todd Starnes show. There were some particularly shocking details he uncovered, even for someone as shady as Barack. Todd Starnes reports. Former President Barack Obama has been holed up in his Washington, D.C., mansion smoking marijuana, eating cannabis-infused gummy bears and playing video games, according to an explosive new book from Edward Klein. He seems himself as sort of a hipster ex-president, Klein said in a bombshell interview on The Todd Starnes Show. Klein, the author of All Out War, The Plot to Destroy Trump, told Starnes the former president has resumed his pot-smoking ways. He smokes weed once or twice a week, the author alleges. He stopped while he was president, because he knew that it impaired his judgment, but he feels he can get away with it now, so why not? Klein said a close family friend was his source for the jaw-dropping allegations. Sometimes he'll smoke in his bedroom, and sometimes in the backyard, but mostly he does it when he's traveling, the author wrote. Klein said the former president has also been consuming edible versions of cannabis, from brownies to gummy bears. As for the video games? Klein told the Todd Starnes show Obama enjoys winding down by playing Sticks, Shards of Darkness, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, and Halo War 2 Ultimate Edition. Neither Klein or Starnes mentioned the name of the mysterious close family friend who dropped these truth bombs about Obama's drug-fueled afternoons on the couch, but it seems like he's finally living the life he pretended to not have for years. This lifestyle seems more suitable for him than President of the United States since he didn't do such a great job fulfilling that role, despite what liberals have convinced themselves to believe. One has to wonder if his affinity for marijuana edibles and other forms of the drug resulted in some of his really bad late-night executive orders he signed, perhaps after popping some cannabis candies and is laughing about it now. His presidency was so bad that he was either really stupid, high on marijuana half the time, or deliberately trying to destroy the country. It's important for readers to gather their own information and do their own research. Always keep an open mind to the possibilities that are out there, but always remember that every theory is considered a theory until concrete evidence is brought forward. Readers must be responsible and search for evidence that turns the theories into truths. Discuss them with friends, hunt for information, and present fact-based argument for the theory you're looking to prove or disprove. We must remember that anything unproven requires facts to be proven. Find the facts and you'll have your answers. 
answers.